Hey Savvy Social Workers, let's get into today's question of the day. A social worker is working with a single mother who becomes upset with her when she suggests that the client enroll in parenting classes. The client feels she is not a bad mother and she does not need the classes. The client demands to see her records, but the social worker is concerned that some of the information found within may cause emotional harm. What should the social worker do? So out the gate, I know that this is an ethics question because it's just simply asking me what should the social worker do? It's not saying first and next. So it's telling me that I'm working with a single mother who becomes upset when um, I suggest parents in classes. And of course I am making this question personal because I am the social worker, okay? So um, that is gonna be my presenting issue in here. So now the client feels that she's not a bad mother and she does not need it. The client demands to see her records, but the social worker is concerned that some of the information found may cause emotional harm. So that part right there will be my priority issue because that is going to be more of a problem than just her um, feeling like she's not a bad mother. So this is going to be my priority problem. However, inside of this priority problem, there is a famous conjunction. So I know that whenever there's a conjunction inside of my priority problem, what follows it is going to be the nitty gritty of where I need to focus, okay? So um, the social worker is concerned that some of the information found within may cause emotional harm. So it's asking, what should we do? Should we A, well, let me just explain when it says, what should the social worker do? That means you are looking for the most ethical thing to do. So would the most ethical thing be to A, inform the client to get a court order to view the records? This is not what the code of ethics says needs to happen in this case. So I am going to eliminate A. B, would the most ethical thing be to warn the client of the possible harm and then give her a copy? Possibly, I'm going to leave that on pause and see what else we're working with. C, decline and explain to the client why. Um, decline her to see the records and explain. I wouldn't decline the client to seeing, uh, of seeing her records because we know that clients do have rights to their records. In some cases, um, you can decline the records if I think it's going to cause harm uh, for somebody else and you have to put it in writing um, but that's not the case here D would the most ethical thing be to encourage the client to read the records together to prevent confusion so now we're going back we have two possible answers and what I like to teach is that we go live in the scenario and we plug both of the answer choices into the problem and what it's asking of us to do about it. So we know that the presenting issue is that this mother becomes upset with the social worker uh, based off of her suggestion for her to enroll in parenting classes. The big problem is the client de demands to see her record but the social worker is concerned that some of the information found will cause harm. So we're looking, the question wants us to do the most ethical thing again. Will that be to warn the client of the possible harm and give her a copy anyway? Or will we want to encourage the clients to read the records together along with the social workers to prevent any confusion, okay? So B, warning the client um, that there are some things that can harm her in it and just giving it to her. Um, maybe that might be something you can do, but I think the most ethical thing would be to sit down with the client and read the, those records together, um, encouraging the client to go over the information with the social worker will allow the social worker the opportunity to answer any questions that the client may have and clarify any information. Um, of course, it's saying that it may cause emotional harm, so there should there probably is going to be some things in there that um, the client may need to be clarified. Clients have a legal right to their records regardless of the content, okay? The social worker is ethically responsible f um, to record documentation that is accurate, objective, and thorough. While records are typically not automatically handed over when requested, usually, you know, a discussion of the reason and the purpose for the request is, um, is what we encourage, the social worker cannot legally deny the client access to her records. Again, I know that in some cases, if it's going to harm another party, um, then we can usually deny um, if there's another party involved in that and we have to put that in writing. Again, that is not the case here. This is an ethics question, so you are looking for the most ethical intervention.
All right, next question. A social worker is seeing a family referred due to alleged child sexual abuse by the father. The perpetrator is currently in jail but will be released soon due to lack a lack of evidence. The children are fearful of his return and the mother still claims his innocence. The older daughter, who is now 19 years old and away at college, contacts a social worker with reports of her own sexual abuse by the same man years ago. Her testimony is consistent with that of the younger children. What should the social worker do? Again, we have another ethical situation. So we are going to be looking for the most ethical thing to do about the priority issue. So we know that this family was referred due to alleged child sexual abuse. The perpetrator is in jail, but he's gonna be getting out. Um, the priority problem here um, is that the older daughter she calls and she makes a report. She's now 19 years old, but she said, hey, this man abused me um, many years ago. The same man abused me years ago. What should the social worker do? Okay, again, this is ethics, so we're looking for the most ethical thing to do. Would that be a encourage the daughter to get a lawyer and testify against the man in court? Let's pause it. B. File a report with the proper authorities. That's just something we could pause as well. C, nothing since the man is already in jail. Well, the man is already in jail for issues with these younger children. Has nothing to do with these new claims, so we are going to eliminate C. D, inform her that she is of age to file her own report. Okay, so it does say that she's 19 years old and here's where it gets tricky so that's where i really want to put this question because i know we don't see things like this often so would we inform her would the most ethical thing be to inform her that hey you're 19 years old now you can file your own report that is very true she is old enough to file her own report um however that however um we are still mandated reporters to report any instances of suspicion or reported child abuse um because this lady well now lady is saying this older daughter is now saying that this happened years ago when she was a child technically she is we are still required to report the child abuse from years ago okay so um d again is is something that we can do but according to the law and being mandated reporters um we would definitely have to file a report with the proper authorities. So in addition to the duty to make a report, a person or a professional shall make a report in the manner that is required as applicable if the person or professional, in our case, the social worker, has reasonable cause to believe that an adult was a victim of abuse or neglect as a child and the professional determines in good faith that disclosure of the information is necessary to protect the health and safety of another child, of an elderly person, or of a person with a disability. Okay, so y'all, that is the law. Again, you wanna check the laws in your state, but I can tell you this one is uh, most likely universal. So what that basically says is that if an adult reports to you that they were abused or neglected by the same individuals who are now um, under scrutiny in a manner to, that's going to protect other children, children that are at risk or another elderly person that's at risk or a person with a disability, we have the mandate to report it. Now, if that wasn't the case, if she wasn't trying to protect her young, younger siblings, then D would probably be um, ethical to do. But because there are other children at risk, then we want to um, definitely report that because of course our job as social workers is to keep our clients safe and if we have more information that can you know attest to what the situation is here then we we must report it okay so i hope I, i'm clear on that i wanted to bring to you some ethical questions um let me know what your thoughts are in the comments as usual i appreciate the likes the shares with colleagues and of course the comments um, if you have any questions, drop them below. Any comments, um, 
I try to respond to everybody because I really do appreciate you being here again. Thank y'all for tuning in and let's go get those passes the savvy way.